Thank you, Madeline. The trial for Dan Doyle continued today. The founder of the Institute for International Sport faces charges, including embezzlement and forgery linked to the alleged misuse of more than $1 million meant for the nonprofit. And today, a prominent supporter of the Institute took the witness stand. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was there and has more on when that supporter started to get suspicious. Kim joins us from the South County Mobile Newsroom. Shannon, it was a full day of testimony for Ellen Hassenfeld, the former CEO of Hasbro and longtime supporter of Dan Doyle's Institute for International Sport. Again, that was Documents presented by prosecutors in Washington County Superior Court Thursday showed former Hasbro CEO Alan Hassenfeld contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Institute for International Sport. Assistant Attorney General Mark Travato laid out letters and receipts showing Hassenfeld gave the Institute roughly a half million dollars in Hasbro stock from 2007 to 2010 for construction of a sports leadership center. That building was never completed. Travato also showed Hasbro and felled three different documents that were purportedly prepared and signed by the former Hasbro CEO. One, a state document, another, a letter to former House Speaker William Murphy, and the third concerning the purchase of land in North Carolina. Hassenfeld testified he hadn't seen the documents before, didn't write them, and did not sign them. Is that your signature? No. Documents presented in court also showed Hassenfeld wrote a nearly half million dollar check to pay off loans the Institute failed to pay. And as years passed by, Hassenfeld testified he felt concerned about the money going into and out of the Institute. I just was beginning to get um, a stomach ache. And there was only about 20 minutes of cross-examination at the end of today's session. Hassenfeld is expected back on the witness stand tomorrow. Reporting live in South Kingstown with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.